have Mr. LaHood from Illinois. Darren. Uh, rank, thank you, Ranking Member Smith and Ranking Member Brady for having this uh, roundtable today. And let me just acknowledge all of our witnesses for uh, your testimony here today and uh, speaking the truth. Uh, you've been so genuine and sincere in talking about your own businesses and how you're affected, and, and we're grateful for that. And this is an important topic to talk about as we look at you know, the Biden administration's tax proposals and how devastating they would be on family farms and on small businesses. And the district that uh, I'm privileged to represent in central and west central Illinois is one of the largest ag districts in the country in terms of corn and soybean production. And uh, when I go back to my district every weekend and talk to those family farmers, I hear from them on what this would do in terms of the changes uh, from the Biden administration as it relates to stepped up basis on really a multi-generational farms. And um, it's been alluded to today, but uh, there are many in Washington, D.C. that have no idea how these family farms are run or small businesses are run in terms of the sweat equity that goes into it, the, the amount of investment, the equipment, the manpower that goes into these family farms, um, and the margins from year to year on how things go and, and how the tax implications of what the Biden administration wants to do would be, again, devastating uh, to, to family farmers. Um, and again, repealing the stepped up basis would hinder the ability to transfer uh, the agricultural land to family phone um, uh, to family owned operations and create massive administrative burdens. Um, what, what this will do is is uh, employ a lot of accountants and a lot of lawyers when it comes to uh, the changes here. Um, and, and these policies would also force families that may have just lost loved ones to revalue re um, the appreciation of assets. Uh, such as manufacturing equipment and determine their tax liability um, and, and change that. Um, if this wasn't enough, the proposal would also double the capital gains tax and additional tax liability at the time of death. What I find most frustrating about the entire proposal is that Democrats in the Biden administration are using this as a way to fund their Democratic wish list for their partisan social infrastructure package and also criticizing hardworking Americans and, and farmers by utilizing the political rhetoric that claims that uh, farmers aren't, parent, aren't paying their fair share. We keep hearing that. Farmers ain't, are, are not paying their fair share, which is simply not true, as has been alluded to by our witnesses here today and when I talk to my family-owned farms back in Illinois. Um, while I hope the administration and my uh, Democrat colleagues recognize the major economic impact these proposals will have on farmers and family farms across the country. I am concerned that these sorts of proposals will be jammed through without robust committee jurisdiction. I do want to point out that uh, a recent study by Texas A&M um, that looked at repealing the stepped up basis and decreasing the estate tax exemption to 3.5 million would be a liability uh, average of 1.43 million per farm of additional tax liabilities. That is significant. Additionally, these proposals are estimated to kill at least 800,000 jobs over the next 10 years if these uh, proposals by the Biden administration were implemented. Um, so uh, having said all that, again, uh, I think about my family owned farms. I think about uh, the, those uh, corn and soybean operators throughout my district and how uh, difficult it is already to operate uh, in, in the current environment. But we need to think uh, long and hard. We need to raise awareness on this issue as we're doing here today. So again, I'm grateful for our witnesses for being a part of this today. We look forward to continuing to push back, raise awareness, and do everything we can to kill these devastating tax proposals and what they will do to our family-owned farms. Thank you, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Next up, we have Dr. Winstrup, Ohio. 